Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Encyclopedia. Today we're up in the Makaleki region. It's taken us a little while to find an insect to show you guys because we are in the dead of winter right now and as you may know winter time is not the best for insects but uh, we've done a bit of scourging through the uh, undergrowth and we managed to find something and uh, what we have for you guys today is the large armored darkling beetle. Have a look at that beautiful gorgeous fella over there. I say fellow, but it might be a lady as well. I'm not, I'm not very clued up on, on sexing beetles. All right, guys, as you can see, he's very fast and, and agile, and I don't want to hurt him, so we're actually going to release him and put him back down and let him carry on. There you go, fella. Off you go. Now, as you saw when we released him, he was scourging through the undergrowth there, and these guys are what we call phytophages, which means they love feeding on dead and decomposing plant matter. So what you saw down there with him now is exactly where they like to be, in amongst the foliage that is busy decomposing. And these guys are play a great role in the nutrient cycle as decomposers themselves. Obviously they, first of all, are eating what they find on the ground there, turning that in, into energy for themselves but as well as them providing food for other creatures. Good example up here are our different roller species, birds that we find up here. They love feeding on beetles and that guy would be a juicy meal, especially this time of the year when there is not a lot of insects to choose from. He would be very high up on the menu. You could see how he's busy scourging quickly through the undergrowth, trying to find some cover, I think, so he doesn't become the next meal. These fellows are from a very, very big family called Tenebronids. I believe there's something in the region of something like 2,000 species of, of these guys out there. So a very big family. South Africans often refer to them as the Toktoki beetle because uh, both male and female species have this lovely uh, habit of knocking on the ground. They take the tip of their abdomen and they sort of tap the ground, making this sort of tapping sound, uh, trying to attract each other. That's where they get the colloquial name Toktoki from uh, at the end of the day. Hi folks, if you have enjoyed this video today, please remember to like and subscribe.